Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Venom the Duck. Now this is actually a pretty interesting champion. Uh, he's a ramp-up champion, and I normally do not like ramp-up champions, but this one is pretty interesting. Alright, so let's take a look at his attributes. Now keep in mind, this is only a rank 3 Venom the Duck. Uh, you can see his champion tags. He is a villain. He does have damage over time, and he's extra large. And let's take a look here. So block proficiency is below what we would like to see. Uh, his critical damage rating is high, but his critical rating is pretty low. But as you will see later on, he's got some other mechanics that kind of make up for that. All right, let's take a look at his synergy bonuses. First one is with Carnage and Venom Pool, and gives him a plus 25 chance to activate Frenzy Symbiote buffs. You'll uh, see that a little bit later on. He has two different categories of buffs that he can get. Uh, so this just increases the chance. Same thing with the next one. That's the Survival Symbiote buffs. Uh, so those are the two categories, Frenzy and Survival. And both of these top two increase his chance to uh, proc one of those. Then you've got Domino here. Uh, and it increases his ability accuracy or ability accuracy uh, during special attacks. And we've got 15% regen, uh, the symbiote buff duration. And you'll see that a little bit later on. But who wants to bring Groot around? I don't. Then you've got Venom. And this adds 40% aberration buff uh, charge at the start of each fight. Um, you've got Blade, good champions, 18% more bleed debuff duration. That can be useful. You've got 2% uh, attack for each buff that's in the RNA bank. We'll talk about that RNA bank uh, in a little bit here. And finally, 15% nullify and fate seal resistance. All right. Let's take a look here. Now, I don't have mine awakened. So what we're going to do before we get into his abilities, we're going to go ahead and take a look at my four-star Venom the Duck because he is awakened. So here's his signature ability, Symbiosis uh, Apothesis. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Uh, but anyway, uh, you can see what it does. I don't believe he needs to be awakened. All right. Um, twisted mutations grant uh, the aberration effect 25% charge at the start of the fight. Remember that synergy that uh, seemed to do about the same, um, as well as the following special attack enhancements. Now we get into something a little different. Uh, plus 30% siphon damage during special one. Toxic armor gains 60% duration. And 20% aberration charge is gained after a special three. So definitely something that is a nice to have. But I personally don't think he needs to be awakened. All right. Let's uh, take a look at his abilities here. And we'll talk a little bit about how this guy works. All right. So there you heard it several times. The aberration effect. This is uh, considered like a timer, all right? And you can see here, it goes from zero to 100% over time. It's just ticking away, all right? When it gets to 100, it just resets. So it's uh, just gonna keep on building to 100%, go back to zero, 100%. Now, each time it resets, you have a chance to proc a random buff from one of the categories okay so uh you're gonna get one from some category but it's just going to be random now each non-unique buff beyond the first suffers a stacking 10 percent potency penalty all right so what this means it's basically diminishing returns uh say you procced a regen the next regen that you proc 
is going to be far less than the first regen in strength. Okay, that's all it means. And that's what, if you ever hear uh, the term um, diminishing returns, that's what they're talking about. The more you have, the less effective each additional one is. All right, so here are the two categories. All right, you got the frenzy category and the survival category. You can read what each of the buffs do there. Okay, nothing special about this. Uh, now, I do have something to say about the apparent simplicity of this. So you would say, all right, this is pretty straightforward but you also have some strategy. Which of these buffs you want to save? And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we move on here. All right, so all his critical hits have a 55% chance to bleed. That means the Deep Wounds Mastery is a good one to complement Venom the Duck's abilities. All right, um, if they are immune to bleed, then a passive degeneration is inflicted instead. That is awesome. Now, the other champion that that brings to mind is Wolverine X-23. When she can't bleed an opponent, she gets a stacking buff that just increases her damage. So here, if he can't bleed them, then he's gonna do a passive degen. All right, now, when he launches a special attack or lands a heavy. All the buffs that he has are stored in this RNA bank. And you can basically bank, and you'll hear that term, you can bank three buffs each fight. And you can have up to 10 during a single quest. All right, that is interesting. This is why I say he is a ramp up champion. Each fight, if you go long enough, you're gonna be able to store a uh, buff and you can store 10. And how you store them, what you store, that takes a little bit of strategy. All right, so at the start of the fight, all symbiote buffs stored are activated. So all the ones you banked from the previous fight are now activated instantly when you start the fight. And here are the special attack one, two, and three. All right, so uh, special attack one has an 85% chance to siphon an additional uh, amount of health from the opponent as direct damage and feeds it to the aberration effect, gaining 10% charge. The special two, uh, you have a 75% chance to apply a toxic armor buff to the opponent, increasing their armor for 15 seconds. Now you might say, why do I want to increase their armor? Let's read on. Striking an opponent that has toxic armor deals up to 90% additional direct damage based on how high the opponent's armor is. So say you're going up against somebody that already has high armor. They're going to take a lot of damage from this special two. They're not going to be happy. Uh, and then the special three. Uh, this attack does not lock symbiote buffs into the RNA bank. That's important in case you're thinking, okay, well, I got all these buffs out here. Let me fire the special three off and bank them. No, this one does not bank them. Instead, it activates all the buffs that are locked in the bank. Why that important? Uh, say you went up against somebody that nullified your buffs. So you started the fight, you're going up against, say, Symbiote Supreme. And the minute you start the fight, he nullified every buff that you just activated from your bank. Well, now you can build up to a special three and get them all back. And if he nullifies them, fire off another special three, get them all back. Okay, so that in a nutshell is Venom the Duck. That is how he works. And we're going to see a little gameplay. I'm going to build up uh, Venom the Duck, bank some uh, 
buffs so that you guys can see how that works. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about the strategy on uh, which buffs to bank. All right, so be right back. All right, so instead of going into Realm of Legends and fighting Winter Soldier like we always do, I decided to go in here to the uncollected mode of this month's event quest. All right, now here's the team I decided to go in here with, and I'm showing you each of the synergies that I've chosen to be active. Can't have all the synergies, but I figured these would be nice to showcase and helpful. Now, in a real quest, I am not bringing Groot or Howard the Duck. Not doing it, okay? Um, but Blade and Venom, solid. Uh, that would leave room for Ghost Rider. Uh, if I wanted that synergy with Blade, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, be awesome. All right, so this first fight is going to be the longest fight. You see that D-Gen? That is because Venom the Duck cannot bleed Luke Cage. And you'll recall, we talked about that. When he can't apply a bleed, he does a degen instead. So that was a nice little showcase there. Now, we are fighting an Oscillate node. That's why you see him being passive. Now he's firing his specials. He's more aggressive because he has that um, Fury up. All right, if you're familiar with Oscillate, you'll know he has that passive mode as, um, as well as the more aggressive mode. All right, now what I'm doing is trying to bank three buffs that I want to carry on to the rest of the fights. And the, here's the RNG. So that buff right there, I don't want it. So now I have to wait till that one goes away. And now I have to just um, fight. Don't want to kill him too quickly. And wait until I get another buff, which is going to be random. Now, this is why that synergy or both those synergies can be useful. A 25% extra chance at one particular group can help you get the buff that you want. All right. So... That's one of the drawbacks to Venom, in my opinion. Uh, I don't particularly like ramp up champions, all right? And Venom the Duck is a ramp up champion. But once you get him ramped up, just like several of the good ones, Aegon, Morningstar, when you get these guys ramped up, they are crazy good, all right? So, in this particular fight, that is what you're going to see. Uh, when I do see a, a regen, see here is a power gain, and I fired off my heavy to bank it. So as soon as I saw that power gain buff, I went, ooh, I want that one. Heavy, now it's in my RNA bank. So you'll see it again, because when I fire off my special three, and right after this, watch the left side of the screen, and you will see a list of all the buffs that I have banked. All right, so here we go. Power gain, armor up, regeneration. Those are the ones that I have, and I can't bank anymore unless um, I wanna replace one, but I'm good with these. So at this point, I just need to defeat Luke Cage, move on to the next fight. And at the beginning of that next fight, you're going to see all those buffs activate again. Now, I'm running suicides. So I take recoil damage. That regen is very, very useful in sort of balancing out not only the recoil damage, but the poison. Venom the Duck doesn't have poison or bleed immunities. So my poison from Liquid Courage Mastery is eating away at his health. But with that regen, it's not as bad. All right, so this next fight, you see they all popped up. And you're going to see that this fight goes a little faster. Now, one of the things that you don't want to do, you don't want to stack all of the same buffs. 
And the reason is you'll be unbalanced and you'll have a weakness. For example, you might decide to bank a lot of regen. Well, remember, it's subject to diminishing returns even more severely. And you're never going to stack as much regen as you need to just basically survive any attack. You're still going to be able to get taken out. But by banking those uh, exclusively, you're not going to have a lot of attack. So the fight's going to take a long time. You won't have a lot of defense, so you will be taking uh, more damage than you really need to. So what you want to do is have a balance. What that balance is is going to depend on your play style. You know, don't bank a lot of attack because then you'll be like a glass cannon. So try to balance it out. Have, you know, maybe one or two regen, one or two fury. Um, you know, the power gain is also quite nice. And especially since I'm running suicides, I want to get that power gain because I can cycle special threes more often. And that would work out very, very well for me. But you have to choose based on your style as well as the encounters you're going to be facing. All right, so Venom the Duck, very versatile, but remember, there's some RNG involved. All right, you see there I have also precision. So that means I'll be critting a lot more often. And you can see that these fights after that first one are getting quicker. They're getting much, much faster, all right? Um, now you see there, I'm taking a lot of block damage. Uh, I don't have a lot in the way of defense, but it is what it is. I decided to do it that way. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that this is only a rank three, Venom the Duck. So he is the equivalent of about a rank five, four star. Let him get ranked up. A rank five Venom the Duck is gonna be insane. So just look at this, look at the damage that this guy is doing. He is awesome, but he has to be ramped up. Um, so my take on him is that he is an awesome champion. If you have the patience to ramp him up that first fight, after that, he is phenomenal. You just have to put in that time on that first fight, get a good three set of buffs, whatever you are uh, wanting to get. And with each fight, he's gonna just get better and better as you bank different uh, buffs. So I like him. All right, so this fight, look at this. That fight went much faster. That is crazy, all right? So now we're fighting uh, Moon Knight, and this fight's gonna go even faster. You see that I have uh, a couple of stacks of different uh, buffs there. So th that's helping me out, but just look at the damage. Now with Moon Knight, I can actually uh, bleed him. So he's going down quick. This is, again, a rank three venom the duck so i can only imagine what he's like ramped up uh i don't know if i have the resources to take him up right now but in my opinion he is worthy of a rank five if you can deal with the uh ramp up that he entails all right so we're going to have, after this, because the video has already gone on too long, I want to show you the Terax fight. Uh, it's not pretty, but I want to show it to you. All right, so to close out the video, I wanted to just show you my attempt at fighting Terax. Now, again, rank three, Venom the Duck. This is not a pretty fight, but it's more because I'm still not comfortable fighting Terax, and I'm also not comfortable fighting with Venom the Duck. But you can see here, he's doing a good chunk of damage. 
And if you can manage Terax well enough, or if you have the proper buffs, uh, this should be a good one. But I got trapped in the corner and took a lot of damage. And because Venom the Duck is only a rank three, uh, he takes a lot of damage. Just look at this, all of this. And then I fired off that and I'm running suicide. So I took recoil damage. So at this point, the fight's almost over and it's all because of my plane. All right, but I wanted to show you guys this. Venom the Duck can do it. He would need to be buffed up a little bit more and of course ranked up in my opinion or in the hands of somebody that plays him a lot better all right so that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching uh click like if you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video uh if you have any tips tricks leave them in a comment and you all have a blessed day